Oh, the poor middle child, barely remembered, unloved, and adopted. Since when did video games get so relatable? Anyways, you came for pain, yes? Well, I have plenty to share. The rules are so simplistic that even an idiot could follow them. I would know that because I was able to. Basically, it's no punching slash striking, and also no countering. Aerial attacks and takedowns are all fine. So the game starts off with a prison riot and running into the warden. If you didn't know, this game is an origin story. I know, shocking. Batman is just starting to build his reputation as this invincible myth-like creature that breaks crime and disappears into the no. Come on, Bruce, I was just building you up there. <sighs> Seriously? A QTE? Anyways, it looks like we'll be here for a while. Uh, Mr. Thugman, how has your day been so far? Huh, I gotta say, you do have excellent swinging form. Ever actually played baseball? You know, with balls instead of skulls? Alright, it's fine, Warden, you can come up on now. So, as I was saying, Bruce is almost a myth at this po- oh. Come on, you too? How many times do you have to hit me in the face before you realize that I'm friendly? What? Sure, yeah, I'll die. Will that make you trust me? Yeah, if you'd been using your eyeballs for the last 30 seconds, you'd know that I had to counter twice. I heard the rumors, but you... You're not supposed to be real! Oh, uh, could you pause for a sec? Because someone kept on hitting me, and I can't hear you over the ringing in my ears. We then ran into some basic goons, and finally, fighting time. Or, if you could even call this fighting. But thank the lords, I have been given all of my abilities. Backclaw, ground takedowns, aerial attacks, all of them were gone in Arkham Asylum. God, I've forgotten how good it feels to pound on these guys. In general, fighting was quite easy. Okay, um, from my very limited understanding of how uh, beating someone to death works, that's uh, not supposed to happen. Yeah, uh, send help. Yeah, this wasn't a joke. Or, okay, almost all of my videos are one massive cry for help, but seriously, I softlocked myself. In a prison. There's a pun there. Yeah, you see what I mean with the help? Oh, Killer Croc, you look just fabulous. Going on a new diet? Let me guess, human flesh? I should really try it out. You look slimming. There was a new enemy type, and at first I was worried because my aerial attacks were useless, but then I remembered that I had all my tools. So, I just had to do a little bit of testing, and what I found is that the answer to most of life's problems is human mutilation. Man, what a way to go. I wouldn't mind it. Looks fun. I mean, sure, your organs would pop like a hot dog in a microwave, but come on. Open caskets are overrated. We then had to save some hostages, and I've gotta be honest, I've been holding back my secret technique. It's a little experimental, but highly deadly. I think my Taekwondo instructor calls it bowling. Human bowling. <laughs> Yeah, we then had to meet up with this guy who started this whole breakout. We've got walking refrigerators, cannibalistic crocodiles, suicidal clowns, and now a man who put on a black mask. And his name is... Black... Mask. Okay, if I'm being honest, this may be shocking, but I'm a teensy weensy bit underwhelmed. Hey, buddy, you wanna see magic? I've been practicing. You know how you have that ability to walk? Ta-da! It's disappeared. We then got to enjoy a little show, Black Mask doing his thing, mass murder, and I found out that smoke bombs and normal bombs make a killer combo. Literally. Lord, I caught your scent. Is that to say that I smell? You know that that's not nigh. Right, you're an oversized iguana, why bother bantering? Yeah, Black Mask ran away, and time for our first boss fight. Right off the bat, Batman kinda screwed me over. Whenever I go in for an aerial attack, Bruce mistakes Killer Croc for a trampoline. He just jumps, he doesn't attack, just jumps. I tried explosives, pushing him into fire, and even hacking, but none of it worked. Don't ask about the hacking, I was getting desperate. So yeah, punching 28 times is just needed to progress for this boss. I don't want to spoil the video, but uh, yes, this challenge isn't possible. With all this being said, it wasn't easy. Oh, yes, the fight was, but I'm talking about counting all the punches, that took a while. Celebrating, we finally got home, and learnt that Alfred is a ghost. I mean, weirder stuff has happened. Like literally five seconds ago, when an orphan dressed as a bat took down the offspring of a furry's wet dream. Wait, Gotham now second most dangerous city? Huh, 
Who's in first? We have lizard people. What, are we counting Chernobyl? Oh, look, Bruce is building his own car. It's kind of like Lego with all the little pieces, except, you know, it kills people. Well, you... Yeah, you can step on Lego. Okay, jokes aside, we actually got to learn of the main plot of this game. Eight different assassins have all been placed on Bruce. One-Eyed Willy, Mr. Electric Fister, Forgettable 1, Forgettable 2, Forgettable 3, Forgettable 4, Mr. Aim Hacks, and this guy. Honestly, I was gonna roast him, but he already looks burnt. If you didn't catch any of that, don't worry, because honestly, we're only gonna fight like a quarter of these guys. We then got some info on Penguin's meetup point and went to check it out. It was all peaceful, but it was also quiet. Too quiet. Like, literally, the sound turned off. I, I think this is a glitch? Man, that sucks. Half of the fun in these games is hearing people beg for their lives. The other half is taking it from them. Thankfully, thankfully, I just had to resort to some quick fixes. Restart the game, restart your computer, restart your life, yeah, suicide, fun stuff. There were some hostages, innocent life in danger, all that crap, but eh, it was easy. Like, watch, I'ma make this guy even more dead than this game's online services. Being completely serious, this game has some of the most advanced AI that I have ever seen, even to this day. How they react to each other getting taken out, their voices getting shaky, honestly, it's quite fantastic. Where'd he go? Good question. I'm like a shadow in the night. A large burly shadow that's rubbing up against your leg. How are you not noticing me? On my way over to Penguin, I stopped an ongoing crime. Or, okay, yeah, I just kind of added fuel to the fire. Or, rather, the explosion. Hey, hey, officer, officer. I know that I kind of left eight unconscious men in freezing weather. And sure, they all died from hypothermia. But I'm not a murderer. I'm Batman. So, little what do you want for Christmas? Oh wait, I already know. My guy just snapped his fingers while wearing a glove. You ever tried that? It's literally impossible. There's only one other man with that much power. Welp, a 50-50 chance of survival? Eh, that's better than some American high schools. More fighting and after some torch- No, enthusiastic interrogation, we learned of Cobblepot's location. I know this looks like, uh, the M word, murder. But look, I couldn't find his body after I dropped him, which means that he either combusted it into atoms, or Santa picked him up and whisked him away. I mean, that man can get you a PS5, those things are extinct, so nothing's off the table. I then decided to take on another street crime because, eh, it doesn't hurt to try. Well, it did for them, but no harm, no foul. Okay, I need to stay away from euphemisms. Cobblepot led me to this massive chase, hacked computers, but it was mostly just boring. You know, I'm glad that Penguin is hiring people with disabilities, but was it really the best idea to put a blind man on lookout? Lookout? The job that requires looking? Penguin's hideout was a boat. It was also half sunken and a total mess. I guess you could call it a ship hole. YouTube algorithm, I said ship there, not... Whatever, whatever, just give me the demonetization and leave, thanks. I'm here to kick your ass! Oh wait, uh, you're, you're the electric guy, right? Well, your entire gimmick is gloves, not feet, right? So, wouldn't you just fist my ass out? Yeah, yeah, let's go with kick. So yeah, time to fight Mr. Electric Fister, and oh boy, was I worried. Just like Killer Croc, none of my gadgets did anything, and just my luck, I was stuck. Well, at least he didn't charge at me. <laughs> Get it? Charge? Eh. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of time to think of puns, cause I was just stuck in a staring contest. I could only take so much though, and went in to punch once. And surprisingly, that's all it took. Wow, I guess he's just a one and done kinda guy. Heh. <laughs> I feel bad for his wife. <laughs> I don't really get this humor, I'm 16. Where's Cobblepot? I ain't telling you, Jack. A little more pressure and I'll crush your larynx. What's it going to be? Okay, okay, he's in the office. Wait, wait, what's a larynx? So yeah, we were tracking down Penguin and meeting a couple of assassin friends along the way. Hey, look, I know people might ask you questions about it all the time, but... So, how did this work? Was your dad a human and your mom a boat, or was it the other way around? Okay, okay, I know that this world is obviously fantastical with the human lizards and suicidal clowns and whatnot, but you're telling me, you're trying to get me to believe that this lady is the manager of this boat? <laughs> yeah, what next? Are pigs gonna fly? That better be lip gloss you're reaching for. Hmm, okay. I don't know much about makeup or women in general, but that... That might, just might not be lip gloss. 
Yeah, there was another QTE, but thankfully Bruce took his hit, and that was it. Hey, that rhymed. Abuse has never been this catchy. Then, unfortunately, the good news stops there, because there was another brute. And let me tell you, they were brutal. <laughs> I spent 30 minutes on this fight, I'm in pain. First I tried going through all the gadgets, and of course, nothing. Then I thought I was smart by using combos, but again, nothing. Then I looked on the wiki and saw that ground takedowns work, so I used up my points, and again, nothing. Do I have to finish my sentence? I was just bashing my head against a wall, and then I realized, that's the answer. No, I didn't go insane. I already was. You can't go double crazy. What I mean is, you have to let the brute hit his head after a charge. So I juked him out a couple of times, and ta-da, we have matching brain damage. Yep, the brute that usually takes a buttload of hits now took three, but I wasn't done. I found that sliding counts as two hits, so I finally got it down to just one. We took care of Penguin, and then it was on to Deathstroke. Okay, how do I explain this fight without having a stroke? It's about punching and countering. So, uh, yeah. The only real strategy here was holding my combos for as long as possible to increase my damage. That, and trying not to go insane. Yada yada yada, I could talk here more, but really there was nothing for me to do. Just add 173 to the counter. I know, insane. Yeah, there isn't any crazy crap for me to do, I just have to play through the game normally. Oh my god, I have to play through the game normally. I'm not prepared for this. I then got to meet up with this anarchy guy, and as his name suggests, he wants anarchy. He talks about consumerism, capitalism, communism, a lot of C words that end in ism, but I heard him out because, you know, we've all been through that phase, usually when we're like 12, but better late than never. Long story short, or rather, short story short, this was a quick side mission, he planted a bomb and easy peasy, break your spleeny, it's done. I just realized Batman will fight literally anybody he sees on the streets. They don't even have to be committing a crime, just hanging out. No wonder Batman has such a bad rep. Beating up random homeless people will do that to you. Anyways, apparently Black Mask has been murdered. Being at the crime scene, we learn that something happened. A fake Black Mask, head trauma, guns, I'm just saying random words here because I didn't really understand this investigation at all. Then again, I did make the computer go beep and boop, so I do feel pretty smart. We then needed more info on Black Mask, so we had to break into the cops' headquarters to get it. Okay, I feel bad about all this beating stuff up, so if you police say please, then I won't break your jaw. <laughs> that was a joke, it's an inevitability. So yeah, we then had to be very careful while we snuck through. Or not. To be honest, I made my own mini nuke, and no one really seemed to notice. Kinda kills the whole being sneaky bat thing. I won't stand a chance against that many armed men. Geronimo! Bruce, were you saying something? Being serious, these guys are civil servants, so I really had to hold back and go all non-lethal. You know, the basics. Punching, exploding propane tanks, beheadings. Wait, did I mix up non-lethal and lethal again? Did do ba do 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 Wait, my guy, you have some of the slowest reaction times ever. My therapist said you shouldn't laugh at people in pain, but oh my god, he hits you and then a full second later you react. Yeah, I got a tour of the little prison and apparently death row is getting a little crowded, so I thought about giving a hand and also taking one. You know, explosions, limbs falling off, you get it. Oh, you guys are admiring my handiwork. I'm real proud of it, huh? Beating him up, stopping his heart, Beat? I sure am beat. <laughs> right, okay, uh, someone's dying. Not the time for puns. Hello? Hello, Batman? Oh, no, 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 no. I can handle a giant lizard person trying to eat me alive, but if anyone catches wind of me video calling a 12-year-old girl, like that, I'll be cancelled. Actually, the murders might catch up to me first. We got introduced to a new martial arts enemy with a really cool skill set that actually makes them a lot faster and stronger than the normal guys. That, plus, they have very similar Blah, blah, blah. blah. Cool. Explosives are still explosives. They cause head trauma just the same. I was still on my quest for more info on Black Mask's death when we ran across one of our biggest enemies. Glitching through the elevator floor. Yeah, I didn't do this on purpose. Oh? Okay, it's fading to black, it'll fix itself... Okay, one small quick question. Have I become a god? Is this the in-between space between reality and the code? What's that ball? These are all examples of questions that will never get answered because I once again 
got softlocked. Then there was another fight, and yet again, another brute. I wasn't too worried because they can just charge into walls like before, but unfortunately, this guy wouldn't do that. Come on, I'm only asking for you to give yourself just a smidgen of brain damage, it's not much. Yeah, I tried out every single little tool I had, but unfortunately, punching 13 times is just necessary. We then learned of the whole picture of the murder. Black Mask wasn't killed, but simply kidnapped by some crazed lunatic called the Jester. No. Joker? I don't, I don't know, it's some stupid name. And considering it's coming from me with my username, that's saying something. Oh look, they have little nutcrackers all over the place. Man, what are those teeth? Oh my god, you look horrible, are you okay? What, are you part-time nutcracker and part-time crack dealer? Then those eyes, those are the eyes of someone who's seen hell. No that live in a constant hell. Yeah, the Joker guy that kidnapped Black Mask brought him to the bank, so all I gotta do is break in. Okay, there was a door right there. Well, breaking does come first and breaking and entering. <laughs> you like that joke? God, dead people make the worst audience. They're all dead. No, really? I thought this candy cane was just giving this guy a nice massage. Wow, I'm glad you enjoyed last night. <laughs> okay, I'll stop playing with the corpse. We finally met up with Joker, and he's pretty horrible. You know, with the murder, robbery, and not being voiced by Mark Hamill, it's disgusting. I need to hurry before he kills Cyanus. Or anyone else. Yeah, I could do that, but this guy just became part stare, and honestly, this is way more interesting. Yeah, Joker took over the steel mill, and now... I don't know, I think I'm gonna take him down. You heard me right! Free guns for everybody! Ah, Christmas in America. Taking out the guards was a little tricky, but I met a new friend. Look at my little floating buddy. Okay, I know it's a little early, it's not Christmas yet, but I got you a present. Hope you enjoy! Uh, it's fine, he'll just fall in place. Well, at least now I don't have to hide the body. Then there was another brute fight, and even though he would charge, it still took 13 punches to finally put him six feet under. Your mama's gonna cry when she sees what I do to you! <laughs> doubt that, cause she's actually dead. <laughs> Sick comeback. Oh, finally, the elevator, I've been waiting. Hey, is this going up or down? Can you speak up? Sorry, I don't speak dying gibberish. We then met up with Black Mask, or rather, what do I call you now? White face? I, I don't know. Let's, yeah, let's stick to Black Mask. We then got poisoned because it isn't a Batman game if you don't go on a bad acid trip. That's like the entire plot of Arkham Knight. You're a Wayne, and a spoiled, wasteful disappointment of a Wayne at that. Oh, shut it. I know you're just a hallucination. I know you're not the real Alfred because the real Alfred is a go. Okay, yep, that was him. Yeah, there were a bunch of hallucinations, but honestly not too bad. They remind me of the voices in my head. Then we got into a fight with one of the forgettables. They may have been one or two, but anyways, the fight wasn't half bad. Sure, I was more than half dead when I finished it, but I was able to use some of my upgrades as health packs. Ah, game, do I really have to hit her? Come on, she isn't even attacking me. If anything, she's... I don't, I, don't, I don't know what she's doing, I don't get females, but yeah, add two to the counter. Then it was more of the usual. Hit guys so hard that I don't only break their skulls, but also the laws of physics. And then we got to learn more of Joker's plan. It's, it, it's just to kill us. Yeah, real shocker. Oh yeah, and speaking of shock, Mr. Fister is now dead. Move it along, big boy. I swear to God, first person to make a pun about that line gets a free trial of my fist down your throat. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? On for dear life? Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a long drop. Oh my God, he's flapping his wings. He actually thinks that he's a bat. Now I see why you and Joker get along so well. Two out of their mind peas and a pod. You know, we give Joker all this crap for murder, but at least he's decorated his hideout. Bruce didn't even do that. There are little trees, little lights, and look, even the torturing is festive. Yeah, there were more basic fighting, and then this happened. Ah, is this
this game super buggy, or is it just me? Is the game breaking under how stupid this challenge is? Here's a small tip, make sure to dodge to evade. Oh, thank you game, that's a helpful tip. I'll use it the next time I'm stuck in the void. Being serious, there was another brute, and unfortunately, again, I had to punch. But with electric gloves on, yes, I did a little bit of grave robbing, I was able to get it down to five. Who are you? Uh, seriously? How many people do you know that dress up as bats? Well, if you're a furry, then that actually might be a lot. Okay, valid question. There was another brute fight. Seriously, again, they're littered all over the place like ants. But luckily, with takedowns in combination with batarangs and sliding, I was able to get it down to three punches. We casually worked our way up to Joker, and I got one of my suspicions confirmed. Batman can't swim. Come on, Bruce, that's not even the deep end. Why escape like that? Then we got to make our live debut on TV. Twice, actually, it glitched out without any enemies, so you guessed it, I just danced. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I call this move the T-Pose. <laughs> so stupid. Hey, Joker, I know that the game wants me to punch, but... Oh, look at that murdering face. I can't harm you. <laughs> Ow! Wait, what? That actually just worked? I got to stare into his eyes for five seconds? Okay, I... I I'm not complaining. Then it was time for Bane, and oh boy, the amount of times I had to punch here. I got the upgrade to lower down combos down to only 5, and even used electric gloves, but I only got it down to 61. Yeah. With that finally done, we got to jump into the psyche of that psychopath Joker. And honestly, it's nothing all too special. Wow, you have hallucinations and voices in your head. Get in line with the rest of us. The rest of us, right? That it that isn't just me. I seriously thought the game was done right there, but nope, apparently I have to take down Bane again. This time, at least, I got a new glue gun. Oops, sorry, I have a meeting with Bane. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, you know, all the oh. Wait, you're actually friendly. Huh. How are you holding your gun like that? More importantly, why aren't you using it to shoot me? Bane learned of our secret identity, and all I've gotta say is, finally. I mean, he doesn't even cover his face fully. Everybody in Gotham should know. I then had to take care of Firefly, and thankfully, it was just covering him in sticky white stuff and batarangs. So I had lots of experience. No, not covering men with sticky white stuff. I mean, the batarangs. Yeah, that, or... You know, ignorance is bliss. This boss fight was the easiest so far, but unfortunately, it did require two QTEs. Bane kidnapped Alfred, saying your dying words, all that fun stuff. I mean, I wasn't really scared. You can't really create tension when you know no one's gonna die. I mean, it's an origin story. What kind of superhero dies in their origin story? Don't add me to the weight you carry. Alfred, I know you're dying, but that's no excuse to make fun of my weight. Right, father-son moment, I, I should just shut it. Alfred up and died, which, uh, you can't really create tension when you know no one's gonna die. Yeah, I didn't expect that. We could bring him back through electric punches, but Bruce, you don't want to ruin the challenge, right? What's one more dead father figure? Ugh, fine. These fists were meant to take away life, not give it. Ugh, yeah, it takes five punches to save Alfred's life. Joker then broke out of his cell at Blackgate, and of course, it's up to us. Bruce, Bruce, I've, I've just discovered this new technique that will allow us to cross water without making this whole glue boat. It's very secret and not many people know about it. It's actually quite ancient, but it's called swimming. You know how it goes by now. Destroy public property, make weird grunting noises, inner monologue, and ta-da, you've summed up 90% of Batman games. I don't know if I've just lost my mind, but if you look past the murder, this could definitely be modern day art. Okay, yeah, I've just lost my mind. Man, this fire is deadly and running at a stunning resolution of 360p. What am I playing, Minecraft? Then there were two more brutes and unfortunately 14 more punches. Now, with the bad news out of the way, I can tell you that I met yet another friend. God, I think I've made more friends in this game than I have in real life. Then it was time to fight Bane again and holy crap, this is a lot of punching. If I counted correctly, which is honestly the hardest part of this challenge, then there were 31 punches. Oh, yeah, and I killed him. Did I mention that? It slipped my mind. Kinda like how Bane just slipped into the afterlife. Relax, he was dead for like three minutes, and then I brought him back. <laughs> 
yeah, it's definitely still premeditated murder. Again, add four to the counter. Hey Bruce, I know you have a thing against killing humans, right? Well, this thing is definitely not human anymore, so I think it's fair game. As you can very much see, Bane turned himself into this big blob of flesh. Clayface, is, is that you? No, no, this fight or more so Chase, was just a little game of cat and mouse. I'm the mouse. The game does want you to use takedowns with the punch button, but thankfully you don't have to. Oh my god, he's even deadlier than I thought. He has the force. He's force choking me. Seriously, I know this game was made by a different studio than Rocksteady, but who was it? Who could create something so glitchy? Bethesda? Is this you? With the final big boss out of the way, we just had to take on Joker and... I'll spoil it now, this is basically just one big punch-a-thon. Well, if you'd actually let me finish a sentence, you might learn something! Okay, okay, I'll hear you out, just because you asked so nicely. <laughs> you clever little game, doing the whole fake glitch thing like an Arkham Asylum. I see you, I see you. Uh that was an actual game crash. Yeah, I cornered Joker, and as I said before, this isn't as much as a boss fight as it is just a dash of torture mixed with body disfiguration. Add a hundred to the counter. You heard that right, hundred. And anyways, that's it. I know, look at that number in the screen. I don't know what it is yet because I don't know how to do math, but um... That's a lot more than I expected. If you liked this video, then you can uh... Well, like it, and of course, I'll see you next week.